doing my humming singing something thingy whatever you want to call it i was having fun <laughs> well there you go <laughs> um thank you jasmine oh, i didn't even realize i was doing it i was just getting the background stuff done so there you go slipped up didn't i but that's okay i do like to feel that vibration in the throat so instead of talking to myself sometimes i Hum, sing, sing to myself, whatever. It's beautiful energy moving through the body when you sing or hum to yourself. Doesn't matter how it sounds, it's getting that vibration going and that's what good sound therapy is. So good morning to you, Natas. And to Kim on her way to work, good morning to you. And Alison, oh, good morning. You like my singing too? Oopsie, looks like I did my cup. <laughs> Thank you so much for the compliments, but it's certainly not what I was doing it for. We are here to do the Daily Lenement card spread reading, and it is Monday the 21st of February here in well, cloudy Port Elliot, South Australia, but looking like a good day ahead because that's what the energy feels like. And good morning, Rena. Did I say that already? I showed it to you. <laughs> oh, goodness. I've just got to get my... Uh, Body Soul app open, which is just on the ring around. Yes, it is. So good. Uh, and turn down uh, the volume. Soul. Turn down the volume. Turn down the volume. Good morning, Shaz. After a beautiful day out that you had yesterday, I'm sure you feel rested and and lovely this morning with this fresh air energy moving through. Right, we go. <laughs> Holy crap, it's the 21st already? Yeah, that's what I thought when I saw it and typed it because instead of going the 20th, I had to change 21st as well. Three little button presses, that one. <laughs> so, yes, the, the month is moving on, the year is moving on. It'll be Christmas again before we know it. Shaz, start the countdown. <laughs> Good evening to you, Sarah. Lovely to see you here too. And we'll switch over to the card. So tune in to turn on your connection to spirit as you're watching, listening to this. Oh, it looks like I've got, oh, Sarah, you liked the stream. That has come up in the uh, little thingy, the little heart roll. That's a stream elements um, overlay that I've put on. I'm finally starting to figure out where some of these things happen as I add overlays and pressing buttons. <laughs> of course, of course. Now, here we go. We're at our card spread and we're going to go through what they might mean for us today. Oopsie, <laughs> and we can move that. I was trying to grab the owl. We always have the owl first. I'm just trying to get the card straight. Oh, isn't this a beautiful one? We've got what matters more. Oh, what matters most is how you see yourself. And it actually is. Don't... Um, you know, there's some who will say look in the mirror and, and love self and all that sort of thing, but it's how you see yourself from the inside. Really know that inner being and love inner being because that's just what's going to shine out to others anyway. And we don't have to worry about what they think about us. We are unique and loving, lovable as we are. Um, there we go. So it matters how you see yourself. So that's how that one rolls. And we've got Nat who's just popped in as well. Good morning to you. And <laughs> am I funny? Am I funny? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hang on. 
thank you. Mm, there we go. Oh, now hang on. Next next set of cards. <laughs> I do use three, sort of. The Inner Soul Guidance Oracle deck that we've got that Leanne and Deb have created. And you just type in innersoulguidance.com.au as their website for purchasing them too. And this is the card that we've got for from that deck this morning. It's the snake. And that's about shedding your skin, preparing to heal and transform and grow, evolving, moving up, shifting your energy so that it's not always stuck. Uh, it, whether we like it or not, change is inevitable and we do grow with that change. So you're going to outgrow the current skin at some point. So be ready to actually heal that, transform it, wiggle out of it, get into the new one. You know, you've, we've got the new one growing already type of thing. So really shift that energy to transform and find that space that is uniquely you, your space to coil up nurture yourself, all that type of thing. It's a beautiful card, that one. Absolutely lovely. So we've got <laughs> Sharon has just <laughs> popped up. How many days to Christmas? <laughs> Thanks, Shaz. I wasn't actually being serious. <laughs> I don't think there's very many here that like to be reminded about the next Christmas. <laughs> I don't. Ah, not so far out anyway. Okay, here we go. We've got the five cards that we usually have in the deck of Gilded Reverie, Lenement. It's by Sarah Marchetti as the artist and it is the expanded edition that I'm using. So it, we do have two of the cards that are in the expanded section showing themselves because there they are. We've got in the home space is this position here on uh, the left of the cross that is the bridges in the home space. We've got the fish that are in the right-hand side of the cross in the workspace. So that's the fish. We've got in the top card position, number three, that's the top of the cross is the well. So that's in unexpected energies. Then we've got in the fourth card position, that's the bottom of the cross. That's the fox. And that is around our role today and then right in the center which is the fifth card and that is the outcome or I like to just look at it as the pivotal for the extra you know it's just that central card it's the target it's the whatever and it actually looks like a target today because the stars or the star card is the one in that position so and it is a beautiful spread today isn't it I agree, and I like that with all of them too, though. She has put up crazy emojis. Interesting, <laughs> interesting, interesting. Let's have a look. So 38, being the bridges is one of those that's the expanded deck because the Lenneman deck only goes to 36 in its natural or created form, initial created form. Oh, good morning, divine, Mist misty divine love, blessed awakening love, yes. So we have a comment here on our Body Soul app, in our Body Soul app. So Misty loves divine. Uh, I just can't quite remember which one. I'll just call you Misty, Misty. <laughs> so it's lovely to see you here and, and blessed awakening to you too. Uh, although probably your evening, it is our awakening. So thank you. Uh, the Body Soul app doesn't come into the Be Live as the comments uh, can be brought in using the live streaming uh, system I'm using the RTMP doesn't allow so anyway that's only a technical matter we don't have to worry about that here we go the bridges there's two and in our home space it's more or less talking about the types of decisions or choices that we're going to make through the day today so I'm just feeling that there's going to be quite a few and you you know there's a few that are going to be able to be left till later but certainly those that you know are pressing decisions things that you've got to make a choice about bring it to the fore, take your time a bit to admire what is around and about you to understand what is the logistics and the uh, meanings behind what is occurring for you in your day and then make the decision to cross, cross that bridge. Uh, and it is almost like that saying, cross the bridge when you come to it. So I'm feeling that there will be those moments in your day that you are going to need to do that with your family and probably some friends it could be as easy as uh, choosing where you're going to place some furniture. 
uh, or it could be to do with the logistics of what your family are doing and, and transporting them from one place to another, getting them to places. So it's what you feel that, you know, now that you've tapped into your spiritual side with your either your intuition, psychic abilities or, you know, whatever, um, certainly um, ask for help if you need it for making those decisions and coming upon those issues through your day. Uh, you certainly can ask for help what might be the best course of action, okay? Um, it is sort of an action card because you've got to get to the bridge and then cross over or back or whatever. So yeah, put it in a, put it in motion. And we're moving over into the fish card that is uh, very much an abundance card and teamwork and all of that. That's well perfect space for that too. Is actually in that workspace uh, in the business arena of what you're needing to look at today. So. Even for those moments where uh, you're not 100% sure what my, my what my eye just went to was these glowing shards of light. So you know how when you're under, well, you might not know, it's not everybody swims. Uh, when you're underwater, you can get that shard of light coming through as if it is the, like the moon rays through a glass window and that type of thing. It really shines through and emphasizes so look for those times in the day too where you might have that uh, type of shining light so that you do take notice that you are aware have an awareness a mindfulness of, around those parts of the day that you see that is what's being shone on type of thing you know it's probably going to bring a bit more focus to that for you in the tasks that you're doing so have that awareness with it but it's certainly going to bring some abundance and productivity for you in the day to day with the fish there in the workspace. The well up in the unexpected, well, that's really a fairly self explanatory one. It's not a wishing well, though, if you want to wish and just hope things work out, you can. You know, there is power and intention, but it's also that that is reminding us that, that you know, the unexpected times, whether it's the house or the home or the workspace, that we can go and dip our bucket into the well and bring up what we need. For that moment in time sometimes we can you know if you really feel that the day is going to need it go and dip into those resources now so you've got that got it ready and out for your day or you can just rely on it being there for those moments when you may need it uh, the sun's shining on it you can find your direction to it easily it's a dawn of a new day it's bringing forward what you need so Certainly remember that through your day and have the awareness of it when you need to go to the well of abundance. <laughs> We've got the fish, remember. So as we're shifting now into our role, I don't think it's telling us to be sly and wily like a fox, you know, the usual understanding of a fox's energy. Um, I think it really is more about just Yes, the moments sometimes aren't always with the right time and, you know, things don't happen as we want because for this fox it didn't. The rooster's at its chicken coop protecting and it's moving away from what could have been its breakfast, lunch or just playtime, um, you know, killing chooks because I know from experience that foxes can do that just for fun. And what we are doing is looking at this in the way of... Uh, you know, as an interpretation to think, you know, not feel that it's the end of just because something didn't work out. It's moving away from the situation and rethinking it is what I'm feeling. So I feel that that's probably our role today is to be open to needing to rethink something, to work through something in a different way to work out uh, what we need to do next that's that's different. And if you keep doing the same, same old, same old, same thing and expecting a different result, you're not going to get that. We need to do something differently to get a different result. And I think that's what the fox is actually bringing us this morning in the energy for the day today. Remember to have the openness for shifting our perspective and changing things around a bit and Sarah you've already crossed the bridges this morning you had to rotate your massage table so the feet are facing the window ah that's interesting I found when I was doing massage that I that, that the best energies 
I felt flowed when you had the table oriented with the head to the north, feet to the south, whether that's the direction that you've found that yours is laying in as you've shifted it, be interesting to know. So, and there you go, that is a shift in the perspective and expect the abundance to flow in from that change. Uh, so from moving with the fox there in as our role, it is going to bring that focus. At the end of the day, we'll have, besides being nighttime, we'll have the stars shining brightly, whether we can see them or not, because of cloud cover at the moment, there's hefty looking dark grey clouds covering the sky from here. Um, it could, but we know that the stars are always there anyway, at any point in time. Well, all the time, aren't they? We just don't see them because of the way Mother Earth does rotate and gives us a beautiful view every single second. Here we go. The focus is, uh, and it's bringing it to that that star, that dream. What is it that we're really wanting? It's uh, shining out what is our life plan with the zodiac wheel there. We can reflect and and sense into what our what our end game is that there's a heck of a lot in our life that we've already planned and we do need to be trusting that process and sometimes we do get these other stars that will sparkle so brightly that we draw our attention away from the main focus that is actually living our life as we need to as we have planned it as our actual destiny is uh, you know for believing in destiny or what is it's not that uh, it's always been a fairly interesting discussion that you get when you start to mention about the soul contracts and the biblical everything is planned. God knows what we are, you know, has created us in all ways, in all steps, minutes, seconds and etc. and what is will be as it is planned. Now, this is where there's interesting discussions about how our lives are lived has it really been written down to the nth degree um but then there's that free will that comes into it i think really by the end of the day have a fo you know focus in on what your understanding is of plans planning uh trusting that inner sense of direction that you have as part of your zodiac wheel your natal chart your numerology because i'm doing a numerology class today <laughs> i'm looking forward to it and all things that we tend to use as our tools for moving forward in life to gaining some clarity because that's what the zodiac wheel does help us with it helps us gain some clarity and understanding in our life the same as these tools of the cards help us gain clarity in our lives and can give some detailed assistance as we're moving through each day. Uh, tap into what is your spiritual connection, you know, whether you are uh, asking the archangels to guide you through the day, whether it is just your own inner senses where you practice the clairs, the different clair or, you know, clair sentience, audience, uh, voyance, clairvoyance, you know, all of those. There's a few. <laughs> it's not just what we hear as the the main ones there is a few so tap into that trust your connection and trust your own understanding of self and what you feel and believe within so Alison wow that is a big comment I'm not going to put that I'll just flash it up because it's big and it really is wow it's meaning a lot because you were meeting up with your new partner but something changed you haven't been able to meet up I had that occur when I first started getting out and about after six years of living by myself and being by myself, that's post-divorce. Um, life is interesting in how it pans out, isn't it? And sometimes it is trusting that that is guided to us by the spirits. So, but you know, it's okay even though your insecurities come up. Shedding the skin, all of that, trusting all is okay. Planning the change makes it clearer. Use your own inner sense of what is right for you. We can be guided by other people. We can have situations where we have no control as such, but it's still our journey. And be aware for yourself of what that's meaning for you. It's you that's living in your body experiencing this life. So 
live it to the fullest that you can. And with that connection with our spiritual realms, in whatever way we do that, we gain what we're needing to for our own understanding of how to live it the best that we can. And it is all that interconnectedness, like the webs, like, oh, I mean, if you know anatomy and physiology, the fascia, and how it all interconnects the whole body, without it, we have nothing. You know, we'd be floppy. All sorts of different things. You know, the cells, we're all interconnected and the energies of that. Just trust what is your part of that, that it is perfect for where you need to be. And the same as me and that that connection even now over an internet system and etc. It's perfect for where we are at this point in time. So, and Sarah, you've responded by you think the feet are between west south. Think feet facing window and garden to ground the client. Perfect cards again. Thank you. Oh, that's a good thinking. Having them face it, the feet facing the window to be grounding. That's a very nice. I like the energy of that. Thank you for sharing that. And Kim, you're at work again, work now. Um, have a lovely day <laughs> and thank you. So to each and every one of you, look, just trust that inner self first. I know sometimes you might think or feel that, oh, gee, I don't know quite, but it's only you experiencing your life. No one else with their judgments or analysis or anything else has really got the right picture of who you are and how you're living within uh, your body, your environment, you know, what you have around you in the family you've chosen and all that. It's you living your life. You need to be able to understand that and the lessons that you're learning. It's not for others to tell you. It's the experience that you are going to be gaining, that love that you're growing, that self-trust, that, oh, that whole world within <laughs> really, isn't it? So thank you for being here, each and every one. If you take that step out and have a wonderful day with crossing those bridges, I just had to look at the cards again because I've already forgotten. That's how the energy works for me. And if you really do need to change up something because things have changed for you, oh, Virginia is just here too, trusting the inner self first. Yes, it is a true story, isn't it, Virginia? I just noticed how the <laughs> comments have streamed through on the Body Soul app. And you just got to oh, have a lovely evening, Virginia and Misty. It's beautiful to have you there on the Body Soul app. And uh, I am winding up. <laughs> so thank you. We, uh, I'm just trying to think, what's today's Monday? No, I think it's next week. I've got to do an early Tuesday. Look, with love to all of you. Thank you so much. And I'll just pop up those lovely little hearts. I like looking at the emojis. It's, it's lovely to know how well connected all of life is and if only there was more awareness certainly there's awakening happening around and about the world in big ways so how each little ripple on that pond affects everyone else if only those in power could feel the, that loving energy instead of what is greed hate anger all that sort of stuff are they really feelings? It all comes down to fear. So thank you for being here. And we have a beautiful little flower there. Love that. Thank you to you on that, oh, the card reading group. Until tomorrow morning at around the 8 o'clock, be the best you that you can be and namaste until then. Bye for now.